Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Wednesday. Woo! I love the Wednesday <laughs> because I get to choose whenever I want, and you know I have a pattern of what that will be. <laughs> And today it follows <laughs> that curriculum. <laughs> but uh, also, just so you guys know, before we get to the guitar, um, one more time, we're closed all next week. Uh, what is it? The 20th to the... 26th. We 26th. open the 27th. We open 20th. on the 27th again. On Tuesday. But Guitar of the Day will still be there. Um, we're uh, pre-shooting some of these. And uh, Jen's got me working. Jen's I got me work working. I got you working. I got me working. She's like, look. 30 songs next week, get them down. No <laughs> frowns. I'm exactly. trying. Exactly. But I have the frown. It's it's definitely there. It's just like stuck on my face. Like, ah. You got this. I believe in you. Okay, okay. It's just a lot of material. And you know what it is, too? I can't half ass it. Yeah, I try. I yeah, yeah, Even yeah. though it seems like I do, maybe sometimes that's just because I'm not playing well. But. It's just like I can't. I lo first of all, I love guitar too much, and then I love you guys so much for watching. So it's like this thing that I. So it's really hard to like get it all double up, but it. You know what? It's worth it. And then I get to go home. I'll be sitting in Pennsylvania. And my parents are gonna pull up every one of these <laughs> around dinner time. They're gonna critique it. They're gonna. They're just gonna be like, Mike. They're still coming up, and I'm gonna be like, Oh, I remember that a week ago. <laughs> and so anyway, but. I love doing them. It's not. It's not a complaint. It's just a lot of them this week. And uh, woo, we do, we're ready for a break. Are we ready, Jen? I am, but I'm still gonna work. I all right, here we go. Up. Let's go. Let's do it. So it's one of my favorite guitars of all time. It is my favorite guitar of all time. <laughs> Everybody knows. It's the 1963 Fender Jazzmaster. Jazzmaster. Yes. Whoa. Okay. I love this one. So this came from Norm's Warehouse. Um, we picked it up about two and a half weeks ago. Very cool guitar. Um, this one is still pre-CBS. You got your L plate here. Somebody, I don't know what they were trying to do. Put their own serial number. It's <laughs> not phone a number? phone number <laughs> because there's not enough numbers there. Social security? Either way, we're going to find you. <laughs> <laughs> you made a big mistake. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, actually, this neck is um, kind of a, it's the 60s profile, but it's a little, you know, got a little chunk to it, but not too much. Um, actually, feels really nice. Kind of feels, fits like a glove. Um, Put that flame on it, though. Yeah. I this one's actually been played. It's kind of hard to tell in some ways, but when you hold it, you can feel that somebody has definitely been rocking out with this one. Um... And then you got your clues and tuners, um, but also there they are the original frets. Um, now the fret wear on this guitar is pretty tough. Uh, they're a little low right now, in my opinion. Um, but it is all original, so you know that for whoever picks it up, um, you know that's up to you whether you want to refret it to make it easier to play or if you want to keep it all original. You'll see out front. Um, Still plays great, but you know, bending can be a little difficult at times. But remember, this guitar has been sitting in a warehouse for 30 years or something and was played a lot before that. So, you know, um, it just needs a little love. But it, other than that, it's super clean. Um, rhythm selector still works great. Um, and then you have your ashtray kind of on the back of the bridge. And it also, well, first of all, we saw the back, but it also. What you're always gonna need, because it's the best tremolo in this business to me, you got your bar here too. Ooh. And this bar system on this specific Jazzmaster is working perfectly. It's got the perfect wave to it. Um, sounds great. And uh, yeah, if you want just a sunburst pre CBS Jazzmaster and super clean, this is the one. Sounds great. And we're gonna go out front and see what we can do. Let's go. One of these times I'm gonna have to get one of these. <laughs> you just keep staring. I know, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're out front with the 1963 Fender Jazzmaster, all original, and we're going through a 1966 Fender Pro Reverb. All the cues at noon, a little bit of verb. Um, first, we're just going no pedals, uh, straight through the amp. Starting off with that rhythm circuit, here we go.
going uh, into neck pickup all alone. Here we go. A little rhythm stuff. Middle position. Uh, now we're going to turn on a little overdrive, show the twanginess of the Jazzmaster, both pickups working together. Into bridge pickup, wide open. Use a little bit of the looper.
1963 Fender Jazzmaster, all original. Uh, super cool guitar, obviously one of my favorites of all time, if not my favorite. Um, you can check out all these guitars at normanjoyguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Mike Lemo. Thanks for watching. Bye.